Welcome everyone to another video today. My name is Nicholas or Nick Greer. It doesn't matter to me, so let's get into it. And today I will be talking about five forgotten black superheroes. So let's just start it up at number five. We have Pyroette. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Joe Beth made her first appearance in X Force issue 82 in September of 1992. Pyro Ed was a mutant from Genosha that was raised by her grandmother after her mother's death. Becoming a member of a group of mutants that escaped from Genosha called the Expatriates, she be she came across the X Factor. While well, at this time, she became involved with Strong Guy, one of the most strongest mutants in the X Men. Joe would return to her grandmother at home once she was free from Genosha. Her current whereabouts are unknown. She can create whirlwinds that, that can help her fly and use it against enemies. At number four, we have Light Bright. Obex Majid was born and raised in Somalia, where she became Light Bright. Joining a rebellious group of Somalian mutants called the Biogenes, their plan was to get rid of anything influenced by the United States. Attacking the U.S. Marine, they were confronted by a group of mercenaries called the Wild Pack, led by Silver Sable. The, the battle will be interrupted by the ruler of Hydra named Baron Wolfgang Von Strucker and his goons. Both teams teamed up to take him down. Joining the intruders, an offshoot of the Wild Pack, she ended up dating Battlestar, a member of the Wild Pack. When the team ended, she participated in the Superhuman Registration Act, where she's defeated by Spider-Man and Iron Man. She's last seen escaping the Negative Zone prison, where she's seen participating in Civil War, but was forced to surrender. At number three, we have Nero Tap. Michelle Balters experienced painful migraines at 13. Discovering that she was a mutant at 15, she has the ability of disrupting someone's nervous system. Noticing her family weren't happy with her mutant powers, she runs away from home. Going to a place called Strong Industries thanks to an advertisement, she meets a mutant named Adam X, where they begin dating. Encountering the mutant teams X-Force and Extreme, she lured them into Strong Industries. It's revealed that she works for the owner of Strong Industries, Martin Strong, just to find a cure for her mutant powers. However, she and the owner were defeated. Neurotap continued working with Strong and became one of the few mutants to keep their powers after M-Day. At number two, we have Wing Shear. Colin Ashworth Hume was originally a mutant that used his powers for work as a special operative at Roxxon Oil Corps United Kingdom branch. When Roxxon gave Colin a suit of armor, he became Wind Shear. Assigned to investigate Roxxon, Roxxon Oil's energy research facility in Colorado, it was taken over by an unnamed criminal. Failed to take him down, Roxxon called Box, a member of Alpha Flight. However, Box finds out that Roxxon were using Guardian's body for evil deeds. With the revival of Guardian, who's also a member of the Alpha Flight, Colin learns about Roxxon's true, true colors and decided to quit. Joining Alpha Flight, Colin will return to his birthplace, England. Once Alpha Flight disbanded, Colin became one of the few mutants to keep their powers after M-Day, and he will be diagnosed with leukemia long after. Finally, at number one, we have Darnice. Darnice grew up with Raquel, aka Rocket, from Icon and Rocket, when they were young. When Raquel became pregnant, she offered Darnice the power of Rocket, in which she gladly accepted. Looking for a 
looking for a replacement for Icon, they came across a guy named Book Wild. As the two replacements became closer as Icon and Rocket, things suddenly took a turn a few months later when Raquel gave birth to her child. When, when a powerful alien called Oblivion came to Earth, he severely injured Book Wild. In fear, she returns to Raquel for help. As Raquel returns her role as Rocket, Darnese babysits her friend's son while Rocket deals with Oblivion. Book Wild would unfortunately die from his injuries and Darnese is seen at his funeral. There will be a full video of Oblivion coming soon.